Chapter 8 Who is like the wise, and who knows the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom makes his face shine, and the hardness of his face is changed. I say, keep the king's command, because of God's oath to him. Be not hasty to go from his presence. Do not take your stand in an evil cause, for he does whatever he pleases. For the word of the king is supreme, and who may say to him, What are you doing? Whoever keeps a command will know no evil thing, and the wise heart will know the proper time and the just way. For there is a time and a way for everything, although man's trouble lies heavy on him. For he does not know what is to be, for who can tell him how it will be? No man has power to retain the spirit or power over the day of death. There is no discharge from war, nor will wickedness deliver those who are given to it. All this I observed while applying my heart to all that is done under the sun, when man had power over man to his hurt. Then I saw the wicked buried. They used to go in and out of the holy place and were praised in the city where they had done such things. This also is vanity, because the sentence against an evil deed is not executed speedily, the heart of the children of man is fully set to do evil. Though a sinner does evil a hundred times and prolongs his life, yet I know that it will be well with those who fear God, because they fear before Him. But it will not be well with the wicked, neither will he prolong his days like a shadow, because he does not fear before God. There is a vanity that takes place on earth, that there are righteous people to whom it happens according to the deeds of the wicked, and there are wicked people to whom it happens according to the deeds of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity. And I command joy, for man has nothing better under the sun but to eat and drink and be joyful, for this will go with him in his toil through the days of his life that God has given him under the sun. When I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to see the business that is done on earth, how neither day nor night do one's eyes see sleep, then I saw all the work of God, that man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. However much man may toil in seeking, he will not find it out. Even though a wise man claims to know, he cannot find it out. Chapter 4 Therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced disgraceful, underhanded ways. We refuse to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word, but by the open statement of the truth we would commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we also speak knowing that He who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into His presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light, momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Hello and welcome to Bible Time today, Ecclesiastics chapter 8. Without God, there is no meaning in life. All we could do is eat and enjoy the life while we have it. We could live the best way we know how because we really don't know what happens after we die. You could be wise and die the death of wicked and wicked and die the death of wise. There is no one who could discover the meaning. This is a reality of life under the sun. Apart from God, life is meaningless. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 through 18, Paul starts with his ministry to proclaim the gospel of Christ. He compares himself as a 
clay of jar that holds a treasure of the Holy Spirit. Thus, the people of Corinth have the same spirit as a partner in sharing the gospel. Paul also encouraged them not to lose their heart when they find all kinds of suffering, for the suffering we face on earth is temporary. Paul encouraged them to fix their eyes on what is not seen, because there are the things that are eternal. Light will shine through the darkness, and they will overcome any oppression. It is important to know that we're jars of clay, that the Holy Spirit is the treasure that is within, and therefore we need to live the life of gospel. Even with suffering, even with opposition, we could overcome it. Even though we decay in physically, we know that inner person is renewed each and every day. And so let us give thanks to God for using us for His glory. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for using us, Lord. Father, help us to understand that even though we will physically get old and tired, but Father, we know that inward person, the inner man is being renewed each and every day so that even though we face many challenges, we shall overcome for the light shall overcome the darkness. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.